So, nine packs of Footy Stars 2023 Hobby Packs. This is going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, there is a fresh box in front of your eyes. However, I'm only going to be opening up nine in this video. And then next weekend, you're going to see the other nine in this box. But nonetheless, hobbies are almost always guaranteed to hit. And I'm hopeful that today we've got even more waiting for us in this box. I have been so excited to get into ripping these for weekly videos. Obviously, the box breaks for videos are always so much fun. Um, I've opened a few in my spare time as well because they are that addicting. And thankfully, I think it's fair to say for myself, personally, the best box I've opened was Hobby Box Break number two. That second box that we opened on the channel, definitely the best one. So... This set of hobby, bo hobby box packs have got to be pretty good. They're going to be pretty good in order to uh, meet up to that standard. But I don't know. What are we looking for? Hopefully some more Iconics. I'm hoping for a nice little North Melbourne Rising Star predictor because now Harry Sheasel, with the way he's been playing and hopefully with the way he plays tonight, we'll see some big things from him. I'm really hopeful that'll be the case for us because, oh man, it's a good time to be a North Melbourne fan now with a bit of future looking like it could go our way. And I'm hoping that's the case. Maybe see a little rising star out of him, but also got George Wardlaw coming through. So two potentially really, really good players on the way for North Melbourne. And I'm so, so keen to see how that turns out for us. Hopefully, we've got two supposedly really good rookies on our hands. Hopefully, uh, it turns into uh, two potential Rising Star candidates. If they can both manage to get Rising Star nominations, I think that's a pretty successful year. I think that's pretty good for drafting-wise at the very least. Look at me forgetting to move my bloody keyboard out of the way. But nonetheless, I'm getting all this out of the way. We got nine packs of these ones. So let me pull out nine of these. We got three here, six in total. And let's do the front three as well. There we are. Beautiful. Nine packs right there. I'm saving these for the next video. Super keen. Let's get into it, man. Far, far out nine packs. Gonna be really, really exciting. Uh, hopefully, we uh, managed to get some big stuff in here. Numbers are gonna come regularly. Numbered cards. It's not like our regular Footy Stars uh, content in that we hope to be just get a box hit or a numbered card. This one pretty much is guaranteed to have us some numbered cards and some pretty big pulls in between as well. So let's see what we can do with nine packs of Footy Stars Hobby in today's video. I'm only, I'm only hoping for the best. I really can do that with these packs. They are simply just that good for me. But uh, nonetheless, we start off with Jared Witts. We got Sammy Walsh, then Isaac Cumming, Jake Lever, Darcy Moore. Where do we see our first one? Oh my God, we've already got it. Wow. <laughs> Bang, straight into it. Hugh McCluggage, Brownlow Predictor. Doesn't look like the best Brownlow Predictor, to be honest, but nonetheless, it is one. We got Cogs as well, and Tyler Hanks, Silver uh, Common. That is pretty crazy that we're starting off with this one already. Right off the rip, man, that's crazy. What number we got? 44. It isn't a Northeast special. It is not a Northeast special, but number 44. Okay, that's an interesting start. That's fairly interesting. Getting a big old Brownlow Predictor right off the rippy dippy. Get into the next one though. We got plenty more to come, and it's getting really exciting. We got Cozzy, Taylor Adams, Jimmy Webster, Matt Rao, Jacob Weedering, and the Christian Petraka AFL Milestone 150 games, and a Georgia G Silver card. Alrighty, pack number three. I fixed up the focus a little because it looked a bit off just before, but there's still potential in this box. There's still a lot of potential, and I'm hoping that we can manage them to hit on a bit more of that with this box, considering uh, we've already managed to pull our big hit of the box. We've got Josh Kelly, Jack Biney, Braden Maynard, Jack Sinclair, Brandon Ellis, Jack Silvani. It's a Max King. We're finding just essential so far. And a Dylan Grunt, Richmond Silver. So nothing too crazy in between there, but who knows? Maybe we find our carbons in here as well. The carbons always get me very excited. Usually they're like back to back as well, those carbon cards. So who knows? Maybe we find two in this if we find any at all. Um, and then we've got our numbers and that is technically all we're guaranteed, but we've seen six hits in a box before. So there's potential. There always is with these boxes. We've got Max King, Marvio Chol, Charlie Kerno, Harry Perryman, Maxi Gorn, and it's a Jamie Elliott Milestones card, 150 games, with a Hayley Miller Silver uh, Specials card. So, we're just, you know, a bit meh so far, a bit meh. We've still got five more packs to go, though. The, the beauty of Hobby is that there's just so much that every pack feels like it could hit really big. Um, obviously, with the way that selected it this year, uh, has a lot of people on edge, not too sure how to deal with it. But I'm honestly really happy with Hobby this year. I'm really, really happy with it. But we've got Brittany Benici to start this one off. 
Bianca Jacobson, David Swallow, Karen Peterson, Tom Green, Taylor Harris. Where is it? Hey, you got a North Melbourne Essential. I do have all the North Melbourne Essentials, so it's nothing too much to worry about. James Sicily Silver Special in between as well. No, no, not, not, too, not too keen with how these packs have gone so far. I'll be honest, I'm happy with the Brownlow Predictor, but I would have liked it to be someone else. We, we can't lie. It, it, we'd much rather it be somebody else. As we get into pack number six. Yeah, pack number six here. Okay. Um, I would like to see one more hit. One more hit before we finish off here today. I think there's potential. If not, it just leaves all the hits to next weekend, which will be just as exciting. We've got Jamie Lambert to start. Jade Gresham. Ali Drennan. Mimi Hill. Elise Parker. We do have just the mascots here. It is Maddie Rao, mascots card. Anything in between? No, just the Ben King Silver. Okay, these packs are getting dry very quickly. We started off super hot, and we've managed to cool down quite a fair bit so far. Pack number seven. Come on. Can't be doing this to me. You can't be leaving it at just the one hit. There's no way we're leaving it there. No shot. Mm, I'm not sure what we've got here. This looks like a very interesting pack. Very, very interesting. I think I know what it is, though. Let's go. David Swallow. Karen Peterson, Tom Green, Taylor Harris, Jamie Lambert. If it is what I think it is, we could see something. Yes, we do. Frio. We've got a James H numbered 96 as we have an Ashradel Silver behind it. But number 96 in the classified series, we have ourselves James H. James H. Ugh. English is hard. Numbered 113 of 365. There we go. We found another hit in this box. Again, hits, you, you should almost expect them, I feel like. Sometimes it feels like every every pack will hit and will be really good for you. Uh, especially that six box hit. Like, that, that big box there, that has put my hopes up high ever since I saw it. But next one, this looks like a regular pack. We'll find out in just a second. We've got Brad Crouch here to start. Ben King. Adam Saad. Tom Green, oh, I mean, Toby Green. Oh, God, the fact there's two Greens on the Giants does not help. <laughs> Bailey Fritch, and yes, here we are. Jack Nunes, we've got the regular 200 games gold milestone card, and then behind it, Adam Chera, yes! I needed Chera. Okay, that's a pleasant surprise. He's one of the one. He's one of the silvers that I needed. The other one I need is Josh Kelly. Cool, awesome. I'm definitely putting him in my album right as I get the opportunity to. Thank God, I just need Kelly. Imagine we get Kelly on this last pack. That'd be so helpful. So, so helpful for me. Come on. Finish it off with a nice one for me. Do not let me down. Come on. We got ourselves a Jamie Elliott. Bradley Hill. Sam Collins. Harry Mackay. The Cogs. Stephen May. Not looking good. It is another Cogs. There it is. We got Stephen Canelio as the... Oh my god. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? I said, what if we got Josh Kelly on the last one? We were only going and put it into existence. So the two silvers I was missing, bang, just like that, we've got them both. So my silver collection is done. Wow, so that's a nice little sub story. That's really good for me. Nonetheless, hmm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm more happy over the two silvers, if I'm being completely honest. But we've got ourselves the Platinum Brownlow Predictor of Hugh McCluggage, which I don't think will end up going anywhere, unfortunately. But it's not bad to have it, at least. And then the James H Classified, of course. One of the more beautiful looking cards this year. So far, at least. It's a really nice looking card. And I'm really, really happy to have it in my collection. So, overall, pretty good pack. Leaves a lot... Uh, sorry, pretty good pack opening. Leaves a lot open for the second half of packs. I'm really keen to see how those look. But nonetheless... That is all I've got for today. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Um, I'm always appreciative of all the new love that we get on the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.